joined by the assistant head coach uh, for the Ferris State Bulldogs, Jim Lake. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. Hey, well, at this time of year, we'll take them any way we can get them. Moving on to the Final Four sounds good to me. How important is that, and uh, how special is that first time in school history reaching the Final Four? Hey, you know, we're not really focused on that right now. Like, we're going to go have a great meal. We'll maybe talk about it for a second, and then let's see if we can go a little farther. Obviously, uh, here, uh, you got off to a great start, a tremendous start early. Uh, you led throughout the ball game, but it seemed like Barry just uh, never quite went away. You know, hey, they, they're a tremendous offensive team. When we watched them on film, they put us in the in the situations that we knew that we had to deal with. And shooting bigs, they put, sometimes the lineup has five shooters on it all the time. You know, and number 10 is a dynamic player. And, you know, at the end of the day, we made enough plays defensively. Uh, you know, and offensively, we were good. Uh, you know, I mean, we shot almost 50% from the field. We held them to 40. That was our goal. We wanted to make them inefficient. We did 10, you know, made a couple, but five of 16, we live with that. You know, they had some guys step up, you know, in these games right now, teams, it's going to be about who else steps up for you. And man, Cushenberry was really good today. Obviously, I got a big performance uh, from him leading the way with 20 points. Peter Furlick had a nice game as well with 18 points for you. Yeah, Furlick, I mean, this was the kind of game with the way they attack, you know, we needed to be aggressive going to the rim and that's Pete's style of game, you know, and Cush got it going. You know, he made some shots early and then he started to get it going in the line. You know, that's what we need. We need to be in attack mode and we were, you know, and we, we race horse with them and they wanted to go fast. We did too. Fortunately for us, we're just a couple points better. Obviously, uh, here uh, you faced a team that uh, put five guys that could shoot the ball on the floor. How, how was that different than maybe some teams you played uh, here throughout the year? You know, a lot of times we play a team, there's always one guy we can kind of, you know, hang off of or, or use extra but they put an unusual pressure a little like Lake State. I think all of our games with Lake State really helped us for this game today. I'd say Ashland with the way that they allow their bigs to shoot it helped us. You know, we've seen this but we had to culminate all of it into this game today. You know, credit to the schedule we've played. Obviously a veteran lineup uh, here with a great senior class uh, for your team. How did that help you down the, maybe down the stretch in terms of being composed here to, to pull out the win? Well, I think, you know, in the last two minutes we executed stuff you know the only thing we're a little shaking our head about was giving up the layup that easy at the end that was the only kind of but the veteranness of our team not rattled making shots making free throws you know that's the stuff that hey we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the bank with those guys obviously uh, you move on to face west texas a&m uh, you had a chance to scout them here in game one uh, what do you expect on thursday night here in the national semifinal? well i mean you know it's gonna be a little different style of game i you know i think the, they pick their spots to run but i think they like to run offense you know and and that's going to touch some other teams in our league. You know, we're going to have to chase. They got a dynamic point guard who played with a ball of confidence in that first game. We're going to have to guard him. We're going to have to rebound with them. I thought they were, had good physicality. I thought they wore on Lemoyne as it went. So it's going to be a fun battle. Obviously. Looking forward to practicing and preparing for them. Obviously, a couple days uh, here to get ready uh, for that game on Thursday night. Uh, had a great uh, group of Bulldog fans on hand here today, and I know more fans coming. Uh, how special is that to have those fans behind you? Hey, let's, let's get those two buses rolling. We, we, there's not enough Bulldog fans on this bandwagon right now. Let's, it's got room for lots more. Let's get them out here. Get in your cars. Do whatever you got to do. Get out here. Let's go. Uh, junior Zach Hankins. Uh, Zach, first of all, congratulations on the win. Moving on to the semifinals uh, here in the national tournament. Yeah, thank you. I mean, this is this is an unbelievable experience. We're really excited about it. How special is it uh, for this group of guys? Obviously, you had a great year last year. A great group coming back. Uh, you added some pieces and now to reach the national semifinals. I mean, it's just huge for us. You know, we've been working for this uh, every year, and, and really since I've been here, we've always, you know, tried to get tried to get here. There's only been no one time in Fair State history, and now we've we've been further than anyone else, so it feels awesome. Obviously, you got off to a great start here today, but uh, facing a very good Barry team that uh, certainly competed, battled hard against uh, you guys here for 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, once you get into the lead eight, they're all elite. You know, it doesn't really matter the seating; they can all play really great basketball. These guys shoot amazingly well, and that's really tough, especially when they spread the floor with the big man shooting. So it was it was tough. Talk about your play today. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, had you uh, had some shots maybe in that first half that kind of rattled out, but uh, really came alive in the second half and able to knock down some key shots, some key free throws uh, here down the stretch. Yeah, uh, first half was a struggle, but, you know, even though I wasn't uh, working very well offensively, I was able to get some rebounds, get some blocks, and, and contribute as much as I can. And then uh, second half just came out, and, you know, this is it for our season, you know, so let's give it everything we got, and, and that for sure helped me out. Obviously, uh, here against uh, Barry the, this afternoon, uh, what was the experience like playing here in the Elite Eight? And obviously, I know you hope you, you play a couple more games uh, here coming up this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. We're hoping to play two more, um, but it's just it's a great experience. I mean, this is an amazing venue. We got a ton of people that came out and um, gave us a, a really good home court.
it feel, you know, so it's, it's a lot of fun. What's it going to take uh, here over the next couple of days uh, to get prepared and ready to take on West Texas A&M? I mean, everything we have, you know, we watch them play and, and they have uh, an all-American all point guard and some really good bigs and, and uh, it's going to be tough. You, we don't know anything about them really, but we're definitely going to get some scout in and, and go at them. I know I asked Coach Lake uh, the same question, uh, obviously facing Barry today, a uh, different t style of team uh, with five guys maybe on the floor that could shoot it. How was that different uh, for you defensively? Uh, a lot different because I, I do have to go out and guard the three a little bit, but we've, we've kind of figured out a system where I can stay low more often than not and be a, be a protector in the paint and then still close out for the three. So it worked out.